those matches? And yeah, um, I don't know. Like one of the things being small, being a smaller heavyweight, um, I don't know. Like watching the video, it's kind of like those guys they come out big and strong, and for the first period, there's not a whole lot. I mean, I can move them around and stuff like that, um, but. As far as getting underneath them and shooting and taking shots and stuff like that, sometimes that's a little bit daunting when they're still fresh um, and <clears throat> you know feeling good. But then come that third period, um, they tend to tire out, and obviously they tire out more in overtime. So kind of took advantage of that over the weekend, I guess. Do you feel that that your conditioning is a big factor then too? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, that's always kind of been my mantra as like a smaller heavyweight. Um, you know, I'm giving up. Well, I guess a lot of guys, I'm giving up 50 ish pounds, um, you know, maybe 40, something like that. So um, they're usually bigger. They can usually push me around. But come that third period, I'm always kind of in the ties and they're sitting there breathing real heavy. And I'm kind of, you know, not hanging out, but feeling a little bit better than they are in that third period. So what's the goal of Nationals, Mitch? Uh, you know, National Champ, I guess. That's the ultimate goal. Um, I definitely want to get on the podium. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to show up and wrestle and do what I can. How does this rank for you? You know, the ultimate goal obviously is to be an All-American and, and hopefully win, but where does getting to that uh, point, getting to the NCAAs, where does that rank for you? Um, that's been a goal of mine for like a really long time. Um, actually, in high school I had a buddy and we always kind of talked about just, we grew up in the Twin Cities right next to St. Cloud, uh, St. Cloud State University and they obviously have a very prestigious program and seeing the guys um, there that were so good in the NSIC and how tough this conference is. Um, well, this conference and then our region as well. Um, obviously a lot of the same teams there. Um, so it's been like a, a pretty long time goal actually of mine to make it to that national tournament out of um, the conference that I'm in and the region. So Benefits to having, uh, as you look at the bracket, uh, you wrestled or are very familiar with five or six of those guys at least. Yeah. Uh, how does that help you? Um, yeah, you know, a lot of guys don't really like to look at who they wrestle um, just because they kind of want to go out there and do their own style and, you know, focus on themselves. Um, I do like to know kind of what a guy's going to be looking for at least um, just because that way it's a little bit easier um, to defend it and I can work on some stuff. I got two weeks here. You know, if a guy's like, really digging underhooks or something like that, I can kind of um, prepare for that a little bit mentally. And Coach, what what are you guys doing? You're, you're able to look at some film and, and see some of the guys that hopefully you'll be wrestling in the bracket? Yeah, I think we're going to look mainly at the at their region competition and, and uh, watch their film from, from their regionals. Um, so we've got access to all of that, um, plus other film from throughout the season. And I think we're going to have Mitch focus on Mitch and have him um, getting ready to wrestle the best tournament of his life, but we're going to definitely be doing some homework, um, watching film on some of his opponents and, and coming up with some game plans, and we'll work on that and practice here over the next week, and, and uh, we'll, we'll, no matter who he ends up wrestling at the tournament, we're going to have a game plan for him, we'll have him scout it out well, but they're going to be scouting Mitch too, so it's going to come down to just who, who's able to execute, who's able to, to perform well when it counts. Mitch, this is pretty uncharted territory for a Minot State wrestler. Uh, this is the longest the season's gone on. Um, is there any fatigue heading in there, or is the fact that a national championship is just plausible just getting you through that adrenaline in this fatigue stage? Um, you know, I actually had a kind of some conversations about that over the weekend um, with Coach Wilson. Um, I'm feeling really good. I, you know, coming out of that tournament, um, nobody goes into that tournament feeling 100% like you know, all healthy and everything, um, and not include. you know, I'm really feeling very good. I'm, like, pretty much completely healthy, um, and I've been very fortunate. When I first came here, there was a couple seniors on the team when I was a freshman, and they were always banged up, always hurt, and I kind of was fearful that that was going to be me, and I've been super fortunate. Um, and, yes, I think the excitement of everything that's been going on lately has really helped me um, keep focused and keep driving towards the end of the season.